Hello and welcome to Those Endless Mysteries. Today we'll be going over some Bigfoot sightings. Now this first Bigfoot sighting comes down of Love, Clay County, Florida from November of 2009. The witness states that she was on her way home from work, that it was around 10.30 when she stopped for a red light at an intersection. This intersection is on the outskirts of Middleburg. When the lights changed, the witness turned south. This is when the witness says that her headlights hit two strange creatures on the side of the road. Now the witness says that this sighting lasted five to six seconds as she was going from a dead stop. She was accelerating slowly as she turned. The witness says that one of the creatures stood in a half squat while being hunched over with its head facing down to its lap saying that this creature was making fast, jerky movements with its arms and hands, like it was beating something on its lap, with its elbows moving wildly as well. She stated that her first impression was that this creature was trying to subdue something, or this creature was killing something that it had just caught, with it moving and hitting something in its lap, while the other creature was standing there watching the first creature. She says that she didn't know how tall these creatures were, but they were around the same size of each other. Now the witness did say that the creature that was moving around, that its head blocked out the stop on the stop sign. So the interviewer from the BFRO did say that he measured the center of the sign. It was seven feet, he said, to the center of the sign. But this creature was bent over and doing something. So what, eight to nine feet tall then? Really depends on how much it was crouched over. So the witness did say that these creatures were about the same size, she thought. So two big males of eight feet or better. Now as she was turning, these two creatures looked up at her car. That's when the witness noticed that both of their eyes were shining red. They both reflected red eye shine, frightening the witness. She also said that neither of them looked skinny, but that they didn't seem to be overly bulky either, with both of these creatures having hair and not fur over their bodies, that it was long and gray while appearing to hang in layers, saying that they seemed to be straight and not matted. Now these creatures' facial hair seemed to be swept off to the side of their faces, so it sounds to me that they kept themselves pretty groomed. The witness also reported that these creatures' arms were very long, way longer than a human's in proportion. While she didn't notice any ears or a visible neck on this creature, she did notice that the hair hung down on these creatures' forearms. Now this was a good sighting report, but I do have a question or two about this one. Because most of the time when someone sees more than one of these creatures, one will be bigger, with the other being about one to two foot shorter than the other, with most of the time it being described as a female. I do believe they roam in family groups, so could have the witness been mistaken about both of these being the same size? Or could this have been a big female? Most females are reported between six and a half to seven and a half feet tall, but who's to say you can't have a taller female sometimes? So was this male catching dinner for them? Drop me a comment down below if you have any thoughts on this one. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can keep up with all of our latest videos. Now this next report comes out of Clay County, Florida from December the 14th of 2009. Now the witness says that he had been hunting that morning in a tree stand, that he was in the archery only section of Camp Baden Wildlife Management Area. While he was exiting the woods around 9.30 to 10 a.m. that morning, he says that he was about 300 yards from the road when he heard what he described as being the strangest noise that he had ever heard in his life. The witness has been a hunter for over 40 years. 
that he has hunted in Pennsylvania and Florida, but that this noise was completely off the charts, saying that he has heard many large animals over the years, such as wolves, coyotes, bears, and even bobcats. But never has he ever heard a sound like this, with the witness having a biology background as well. So with 40 years as a hunter and outdoorsman, while having a background in biology, and he still has never heard an animal like he was hearing this day? So that's interesting to me, that he's never experienced anything like this before. Now the witness stated that the noise was very loud and penetrating, saying that the sound lasted for about two minutes. Now it made four or five vocalizations, and it stopped for a time. Then it would start up again. With whatever this creature was repeating, the vocalization several times, saying that it was a series of guttural growls, grunting, and howls that it didn't sound to be aggressive to the witness at all, but it did sound like an animal calling to another animal, maybe some kind of identification call or something. The witness also stated that the noise this creature was making didn't sound as if it was coming from fright or alarm, but the witness does think that this creature that he was hearing was trying to communicate with another animal out there that day. So did this hunter actually hear a Sasquatch or skunk ape that day? There have been many sightings in this area of a Sasquatch type creature. But was this one of them? Or could it have been something else? Please feel free to drop your comments down below. Now this next sighting comes out of Clay County, Florida from February of 2008. The witness states that him and a friend was coming back from Indian Ford Park. Now this park is in Jennings State Forest. Now while they were walking back home, this is when they saw a large creature standing approximately 40 yards away from them, saying their first instinct was to run. Now the witness says that after a few days of staying silent about what he had saw, that he went to one of his teachers that he knew was with the BFRO. The teacher's name was a Mr. Wright. He described to Mr. Wright what he had seen. Then he says Mr. Wright handled the situation very professionally. Now a few days later, Mr. Wright and the witness went to the place of the sighting. They took photos of twisted trees that littered the area while they were walking back. The witness says that Mr. Wright performed one of their calls. Then within seconds, the witness says that they got a reply back. The witness states that they did this three more times while getting responses back. Now the witness describes this creature as being at least seven feet tall while having three and a half to four foot wide shoulders with the witness placing his elbow straight out to his sides trying to show just how massive this creature was. He says that this creature hair was a blackish brown color while being shaggy and about the length of a German shepherd's coat with it looking dirty, tangled and matted. He says that they didn't notice a odor from this creature. Now, as far as the facial features, the witness says that this creature's eyes were very dark colored, dog-like, he said. That its nose was small and pushed up looking, but that it was wide stretching across its face. While well, it did have short hair on its face, but that you could see skin around its cheek area. That the skin that he did see was black like a gorilla skin. This creature also had a noticeable brow ridge. He did not notice any ears on this creature, but they could have been covered up by the creature's hair. The creature's head was cone shaped, but small for the creature's size, with this creature's neck being very short and thick, while the arm's length was very long, almost touching its knees. 
with the creature's legs being described as wide, broad, and massive, while being short to the creature's torso. Now, when the witness and his friend first came across this creature, it was hunched over and kind of squatting. Then it backed up as it was starting to stand upright. Now, once this creature stood completely upright, the witness and his friend started running for home. So, wow, this was a good little sighting with a nice follow-up as well. So, what do you think about this sighting? Now, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can keep up with all of our latest videos. Until next time, stay safe and have a great day. And thanks for watching those endless mysteries.